winter may fix stricter rules for unmanned aircraft systems. Hello and welcome to Inventiva. This is Palak Yadav presenting to you today's Big News. In the backdrop of the drone attack at the Indian Air Force base in Jammu, the Ministry of Civil Aviation could potentially look at making the existing regulations for unmanned aircraft systems more stringent, the government official said. On Sunday, two explosive devices were dropped from a drone at the Air Force base in Jammu in what was the first known drone attack on an Indian military establishment. Current drone rules are sufficient to get information into system about drones from the manufacturer or importer to end user. However, rogue drones will always be non-compliant. But yes, tightened regulations are required to create deterrence, a senior government official said. In 2019, following drone attacks in two major Saudi Arabian oil installations, the Indian government had expedited the process to come out with guidelines to counter the rogue drones. These guidelines brought out by the Civil Aviation Ministry came as a result of the committee chaired by the Director General of the Bureau of Civil Aviation Security and comprising Directorate General of Civil Aviation or DGCA. Interla Interna Intelligence Bureau, Defence Research and Development Organisation, the Airport Authority of India, Central Industrial Security Force and the National Security Guard. In discussing the security imperatives of the emergence of drones, the committee's report said that in the military drone in the military domain, small drones have been proliferating at a rate that has been alarming the battlefield commanders and planners alike. In certain incidents, the small drones were also armed with explosive ordnance to convert them into potentially lethal guided missiles, thus demonstrating the growing sophistication with which these potent warriors have found relevance to combat zones, it added. The guidelines had suggested a number of measures to counter the rogue drones depending on the vitality of assets being protected. For places of critical national importance, the rules call for deployment of a model that consists of primary and passive detection means like radar, radio frequency detectors, electro-optical and infrared cameras. In addition to this, soft kill and hard kill measures like RF jammers, GPS spoofer lasers and drone catching nets were also suggested to be installed. Further, to ensure that a coordinated approach is taken in deploying the counter-rogue drone measures, the report suggested setting up of a steering committee chaired by a representative of the Indian Air Force and comprising representatives from NSG, Central Armed Police Forces, State Police Departments, DGCA, AAI, National Technical Research Organizations, IB and DRDO. Besides the measures laid down to deal with rogue drones, the DGCA already has regulations in place to civilian drone operations. These include mandating the no permission, no takeoff regulations for drones that prescribe a built-in firewall which prevents the drones without the necessary permissions from taking off.